too. It's not. I'll be waiting a long yeah, time for it to die down. Middle. It literally has just picked up about five more miles per hour from when she first pulled the club. Yeah, the forecaster said this is going to be good. the case all week. The if she hits it now, she'll be good. It's just dropped. You've got that thought in your head, haven't you? Sometimes take you out of your rhythm. Mm. This one's a little bit left. It's got to fade a bit. It's trying. There you go. Yeah, it's one of the better ones we've Fire. seen, Karen. Just enough wind dying down for her, Tom. There you go. It is an amazing uh, skill to be able to time it. It's a little bit of a celebration grant for the Henderson family recently. Yes. Brittany Henderson just tied the knot with Zach Sapanik. And look at Zach pulling a Brittany. <laughs> And uh, her trademark move that she does with Brooke, pointing with the pin at the spot she uh, wants to aim. Brittany, of course, as we've said, a fine player at Coastal Carolina, where our Masters champion played collegiately, Dustin Johnson. We should mention, of course, that Zach works for the LPGA Tour. Media relations, indeed. Yeah. So, so you know knew the picks well. were going to be good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sophia Popoff uh, has a second shot at the par 5 fort. Rating those that are playing great golf, as it should. Back today over on the right side at the 15th. This is Maria Farsi. It's a big green. Uh, yeah, it's split into two halves. What's that? Yeah, it's on the green, I think. Easy, right? Live from, live from the front. Then he's strong. How much from the front? How much from the front? It's still seven feet from the front. So we play the whole way through. We play the front side. Even though it doesn't look as <laughs> like it from this angle, there is plenty of room to the right of this whole location. This is seven off of the right, which is the side of the green you want to stay on. You don't want to get too aggressive going left of this hole. You could end up down the tier like Maria. On the green, but as is the case on a number of these holes, a lengthy putt to come. Or 5 5.14, pop off. Third shot. Had a chance to get home in two, but uh, or get to the front edge perhaps in two. Just kind of found the th three wood a little bit, but left herself a slight uphill lie. Whole location couldn't get any easier for her from here. He's like waving one of the people behind the green at her line close to the 14th tee to go ahead. And anyway, just needs to put a little check on this. It's a shot she should be able to get within eight or ten feet with an average one. Or a foot with a good one. <laughs> Better than average. Mm-hmm. So much for that bogey at the 13th. She'll go back to six under, it would appear. Jerry, did you have a... Uh, a, a low score in mind here on day one, what you thought it might be after seeing this course? Uh, you know what? I asked a number of players yesterday driving around during the Pro-Am, and everybody thought if something in the two or three under would be a really solid score. They were all predicting single-digit winning numbers. You don't see par 70s very often. The KPMG Women's PGA, Aronami was 70. Right. The it definitely takes away the scoring opportunity, and we're seeing a couple par fours like this, for example, the one we're watching Brooke putt on, that makes it so difficult. They're not scoring par fours. This is uh, one that you'll be happy with par and move on. And this well, for birdie. And this wind with it being so gusty too, the, the forecast was for it to be gusty or weak, and that always messes with a player. I think walking off this one with a par is a good score. Third shot for Allie McDonald at 14. Yeah, really good shot. Good 
stance here. Yeah. Finished 17th on the money list on the Symmetra Tour. Made six cuts in 10 starts, two top 10s. Best finish was solo third at the Symmetra Tour Championship. Sit down. That really chased out of there, didn't it? Nothing to stop it once it just rolls off that green. The punting surface sits up a little bit and falls away behind the green. Jerry, how would you uh, assess Jin Young Ko's play so far today in her LPGA debut for 2020? Well, she hasn't been the, the woman that we saw play so many times last season, last year, that could make no errors, but it's still solid golf, and she has played quite a bit at home in Korea. But I think she was uh, she was just so happy to get out here and see her second family of sorts, see all the people that she missed, see all the players and the staff. And now it's time to get down to business. Pretty straight putt up the hill. Uh, yeah, it was fun to listen to her talk about the competition side of it, how much she missed, you know, competing. And, uh, you know, that's that's what all these athletes live for. You live for that rush and uh, hitting shots that you want to hit or want to pull off. The one thing missing, of course, is the fan reaction, which is also yeah. a way that a lot of players feed off of. But I think deep down, each one of those players out there a little bit of an entertainer on top of everything else. I think a lot of players would have said, you know what, just stay there, <laughs> stay away. We'll see you next year. She's going to play the U.S. Women's Open. Who knows if she'll play the CME Group Tour Championship. There are two sponsors' invites available, but those won't be announced until the Tuesday of U.S. Women's Open Week. Jong and Lee Six is also making her 2020 debut this week. Now Allie McDonald for birdie. Good look, four and a half, five feet here. Should be moving a little left. The only thing that can negate that is the wind blowing directly across the line. Has that to remain bogey free and given the, the severity of these greens I can't believe there'll be a whole lot of bogey free rounds with the wind included. <laughs> I agree with you on that and it's providing such a great test. Another interesting thing that I'm watching is this grouping. You've got two of the top names on the leaderboard Sophia and Ali McDonald's three under just two shots back playing with the number one player in the world. And you wonder how much they went out trying to maybe prove a little something. A lot of people get up for good pairings. You, you see it in other sports, too. You, you play to your competition, and mm. both of them having great days playing with the world number one. Jin Young won two majors last year. Sophia won the AIG Women's Open this year. Her lead is back to three. And they're strong. actually hear the ball skidding into the grain. There's a lot of grain on these greens. It's her father on the bag. It's always difficult, isn't it, to uh, comment and listen to a father and daughter on the golf course, but I think we're probably all thinking the same thing. Now, Maria Farsi for par. It should also be back into the grain. You can see just how shiny it is. Moving a little from her left to right. Wow. 
player. This is a five iron. Same club pop off hit just a moment ago. She's on the green about 35 feet left of the hole. This is miles in the air. Similar line to Sophia's, but fading a bit. It's swing. Just didn't quite have enough to get all the way back there. It's been a tough year for karaoke, hasn't it? But you're a karaoke professional, following in the footsteps of your uncle. <laughs> You have to make do however you can. Here's Brooke having a go at it at 14, Karen. That was from 242 off of a downhill lie. Pretty standard for Brooke. Yeah. Karen, has she ever met a par five she didn't <laughs> want to go for in two? <laughs> no, she uh, sets the standard for being aggressive, that's for sure. 15. Jin Young Ko. Five irons all the way around. Very similar line, also with a little fade. Maria Farsi and Linia Strong may par in the group ahead. Sierra Brooks made a double bogey, unfortunately, so she's dropped to six over par. All right, let's take a look at the powerful swing of Maria Fossi here at 16. She is wearing a mic for us, and she is, uh, she's been talkative. A lot to talk about. That was a big drive, too. It would have been so nice. Like... Yeah. Okay. It's better than what I was expecting. Ah, it's so good. Get day, get day, get day. Get oh, Please tell me that's not over the green. There you go, left and over. Uh, I guess. Well, I talk in a, in a small rink. Okay, so. Obviously, you puck instead of a ball. Yes. And only you only have five players on the field. Okay, so it's. The goal itself is much smaller. Okay, yeah. okay. Interesting. It's more tackled, you know. Yeah. But they're both great fun. Yeah. No. <laughs> Not at all. She's a runner. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's good. This year especially, well, next year, I guess. Fossi from Mexico getting a, an education. Maybe some of the stars might play out here occasionally, we're told. Oh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, yeah. That is top secret. It's info, top Tom. secret. I can't tell you who it is. Well, a little work remaining if Ali is to remain bogey-free. It's been a tough part three, this. 17th, one of the flattest greens on the golf course. This is Angel Yin for birdie. And we get her back to even par. Jin Young Ko, the 15th for birdie. Slow putt here up the hill, just like uh, Ali McDonald had a moment ago from off the green. This one on the green. Going to go a little left early off this little shoulder and then sliding to the right at the end. But this is all about getting it there, the proper speed. Speed's excellent. Not a bad putt. Yeah, it's a funny thing about speed on reading putts. Uh, so much of it's intuitive. Even when you know it's slow, it's kind of hard to get yourself to hit it an extra bit if you need to. Well, NASA enjoyed the beginning of the year here in Florida. Lost a playoff to Gabby Lopez at the Diamond Resorts Tournament of Champions in Orlando. And Karen had a 
couple of putts had actually had a putt to win it in regulation and had ultimately a three putt that uh, well, cost her. I, I think Grant could say that she's one of the players that, that, that really COVID kind of stopped the momentum that she had for mm -hmm. sure. Um, trying to regain a little bit of that back. Came third last week in Japan when she played. Yeah. Yeah, coming off a third at the KPMG Women's PGA, the last LPGA event. 15. Sophia pop up. Outside chance for most players. About a 50 50 chance for Sophia today. Making so many putts, just carrying herself with so much confidence right now. This one turning right the second half. Doesn't appear to be any doubt in her head, Paige, when she takes that final look at the hole. It's amazing how much. Wow, speaking of. Hold it. <laughs> it's just amazing how much golf can change and how quickly it can change. I mean, a year ago today, can you imagine someone saying, hey, you're going to be a major champion playing with the number one player in the world and leading a golf tournament by four shots? Uh, she had all the tools. It was just a matter of belief and getting that to come out. I think she's got it now. I mean, yeah, I mean, obviously riding a, an enormous wave, but it is funny how there can be a turning point. Yeah, that click. Here's Brooke trying to get it to click at 14. Back into the wind. Slightly downhill. Should cancel each other out quite nicely. Oh. Just short of the green in two. Settles for a par. 15. Ali McDonald's par. And it's going to be a drop shot. Fall back to two under in her first bogey of the day. Only a couple left on the course without a bogey today. New golf course, new venue. Bossy. Said she did an outing earlier this year with Abraham Anter and has become friends with him.